the ocean is a pretty dark and creepy place. Just think about how deep it is and what kinds of terrifying creatures might live down at the bottom. Is that Cthulhu? Well, most of the things you'll encounter in the ocean are fish, but there's plenty of scary fish out there in the world. From the fish that could cut you in half, to the fish that looks like it belongs at a petting zoo. Here's 20 fish that will give you nightmares. <sighs> Number 20. Sawfish. An unexpected surprise awaits you in the Amazon River. However, you'll have to be really lucky to see it because it's considered highly endangered. It's the huge toothed sawfish, and it's a bizarre looking creature. They can grow up to 25 feet in length, but due to the near total devastation of their numbers in recent years, it is assumed that there are very few bigger than 6 to 8 feet now. They have extraordinary jumping abilities, able to jump more than 50 15 feet in the air, and experts believe this is an adaptation that allows them to migrate upriver, avoiding obstacles such as waterfalls. This fish will give you nightmares, otherwise they spend a lot of time at sea, and have been spotted in a variety of locations throughout the globe. They were targeted for the oil in their livers, but because of the saw, this fish is especially prone to being trapped in fishing nets. Human collectors place a great value on the sawfish, and this demand has nearly depleted the waters of this species. In actuality, this fish is considered to be extant in just 13% of its historical range, and is nearly extinct in the Atlantic, with the exception of a small population in the Amazon River, where it is barely surviving. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19, Sheep's Head. The sheep's head is a marine fish that may reach a maximum size of 13 inches. The body is deep and compressed, with five or six black bars on the side of the body against a gray backdrop. It possesses dorsal spines that are quite sharp, oysters, clams, and other bivalves, as well as barnacles, fiddler crabs, and other crustaceans make up its diet. It has a strong mouth with numerous rows of stubby teeth, the frontal ones resembling human teeth, that aid in the crushing of prey shells. This fish is gives the name to Sheepshead Bay in Brooklyn. Sheepshead may be found in coastal waters all along the western Atlantic coast, from Nova Scotia to Brazil, with the highest abundance in southwest Florida. Although the fish gave its name to the Brooklyn neighborhood of Sheepshead Bay in New York City, it is now seldom seen that far north. However, they have just lately begun to return in limited numbers to the region, with a few being taken in Jamaica Bay on the Rockaway Reef. Sheep's head eat bivalves and crustaceans, so shrimp, sand flea, clams, fiddler crabs and mussels are good baits. Because sheep's head have a habit to snatching bait, a short hook is required to catch this weird looking fish. But with terrifying teeth like that, why would you want to? Number 18, Snakehead. Snakeheads are a feared fish in the western United States, where invasive species colonies of the vicious fish have periodically established themselves. A surprise to the angler, a northern snakehead was discovered in a pond in Maryland, sparking a media frenzy. According to experts, the massive freshwater fish could easily establish itself in North America, wreaking havoc on the region's native ecosystems. These feisty predators at the top of the food chain can grow to be three feet in length. Although they mostly consume insects, frogs, and smaller fish, when they're mating, they've been known to attack anything that moves. Snakeheads are able to breathe air and can survive for up to four days without water if they are kept in an enclosed space. They are able to resist droughts for far longer periods of time by burrowing into the mud. In Asia, some species of the fish are endemic, meaning they can only be found in one part of the continent. They are greatly sought after for eating, they're extremely popular as aquarium fish, and their aggressive attitude is well known among aquarium enthusiasts. Number 17, Anglerfish. 
With just one glance at an anglerfish, you'll want to forget about it entirely, let alone discover more fascinating things about it. But we'll discuss what many consider to be the ugliest animal on the planet anyway. The anglerfish is a bony fish that gets its name from its unique predation style. The anglerfish utilizes the fleshy growth that grows out of its head as bait to catch other fish. These fish may be found all around the world, although they prefer to stay close to the bottom. However, contrary to common assumption, some swim closer to the surface, so don't be alarmed if you come across one while swimming. When we say the anglerfish has a huge mouth, we truly mean it. Its mouth is so big that it wraps around the full circumference of their skull. Both jaws are lined with tiny teeth that are angled inward. An anglerfish's teeth might be angled for two equal terrifying reasons. The first is that they are unable to provide any resistance to the food that is sliding towards the anglerfish's stomach. The second goal is to keep the food from exiting the animal's mouth. Yeah, that's a little creepy. Anglerfish have thin, flexible bones that allow them to expand their mouth and stomach to huge proportions. It can consume prey twice the size of the anglerfish's own body because of this ability. Number 16. Atlantic Wolffish the Atlantic wolffish is a marine fish that is native to the North Atlantic Ocean and belongs to the wolffish family and are his shadidae. The Atlantic wolffish population in U.S. waters is rapidly declining owing to overfishing and bycatch, and the National Marine Fisheries Service of the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has designated it a species of concern. Apart from their distinctive appearance, wolffish are differentiated by the natural antifreeze they create to keep their blood circulating in their extremely cold habitat, the fact that both male and female are involved in brood carrying, and the size of their eggs. They're also vital in regulating green crab and sea urchin populations, which if left unchecked can become extremely destructive to environments. The health of other bottom-dwelling fish species, such as Atlantic cod, is influenced by the success of wolffish populations. The large tooth structure of the Atlantic wolffish is its defining characteristic from which it receives its common name. The Atlantic wolffish is distinguished from all other members of the Anarchishatidae family by its teeth. Four to six fang-like, powerful conical teeth are found in both the lower and upper jaws. Three rows of crushing teeth are located behind the conical teeth in the upper jaw. Four pairs of molars are found in the center row, whereas blunted conical teeth are seen in the surrounding rows. Behind the primary conical teeth are two rows of molars in the lower jaw. Serrated teeth are also strewn around the wolffish's neck. Number 15. Blobfish the blobfish, could it have been named anything else? Looks like a sad collapsed Mr. Potato Head, at least out of water. Here's another aesthetically challenged monster of the deep. For you to see, it takes on its full, graceful, and magnificent shape in its natural environment in the deep ocean near Australia and New Zealand, although it's still sort of a sad-looking potato. When a blobfish is brought to the surface, it decompresses because its gelatinous flesh is less thick than water allowing it to bob around the sea bottom without having to invest tremendous amounts of energy to retain a more solid form under such a pressure. The bad news is that the blobfish may have good cause to appear the way it does, since its numbers are declining owing to habitat degradation and inadvertent entanglement in deep-sea trollmen's nets, which are probably hunting for something a little less obnoxious. To add insult to injury, the endangered blobfish was named the world's ugliest animal by the British Ugly Animal Preservation Society. When it comes to kicking a blob when he's down, these guys have nailed it. Number 14. Electric Eel the electric eel is one of the most bizarre creatures on the planet, and it's essentially a fish with superpowers. It's also a fish, not an eel. It's a type of knife fish that's related to catfish. An electric eel is around 7 to 8 feet long and weighs about 45 pounds on average. However, it is their incredible electrical power that distinguishes them and makes them so lethal. The organs in its body that create electricity take up 80% of the area there, resulting in roughly 6,000 specialized cells called as electrocytes. 
The electric eel has three pairs of electric organs, which allow it to create both low and high voltage electricity. Low voltage is employed for navigation as well as gaining control of their prey's nervous system and maneuvering it to where they want it. The high voltage shock, on the other hand, may be used for both attack and defense and generates up to 600 volts, which is five times the typical US wall plug and enough to kill a horse. They reside in muddy, shallow water and breathe atmospheric air, which requires them to surface every 10 minutes or so. Number 13. Payara the piranha may be the Amazon's most famous fish, but the payara is a unique fish that merits equal attention. Due to the two massive fangs in its mouth, it is also known as the saber-toothed tigerfish and the water wolf. Unlike the piranha, which is an omnivorous scavenger, it is a predatory carnivore. Payaras are a kind of dog-toothed tetra with large teeth that they utilize to impale their food, which is generally smaller fish. They may grow to be around 3 foot 8 inches long and weigh up to 40 pounds. They have a normal set of sharp and spiky dagger-like teeth in their gums, in addition to those gigantic fangs. The fangs themselves may reach a length of 6 inches or more, and the fish has unique openings in its upper jaw to contain them. They have caudal fins that resemble a fan, which provide them more speed and stability in rough conditions, and they are developed for forceful, fast swimming in choppy waters. Despite their dreadful reputation, they are a popular aquarium fish in certain big tanks. Number 12. Manta Ray Several genera of marine rays are known as manta rays or devil rays. Manta rays have fleshy expanded pectoral fins that seem like wings and extensions of those fins extend as cephalic fins from the front of the head looking like devil's horns. Manta rays have short, whip-like tails with one or more stinging spines in some species. Manta rays, which are related to sharks and skates, live in warm seas along the coasts of continents and islands. They swim near the surface, flailing their pectoral fins and occasionally leaping over or somersaulting out of the water to push themselves. They eat plankton and tiny fish that they catch with their cephalic fins and sweep into their mouths. The tiny manta ray, Australia's Mobula diabolis, is only two feet wide, while the Atlantic manta, or big devil ray, is the largest of the family, growing to be more than 23 feet wide. The Atlantic manta is a well-known species with a brown or black coloration and a robust yet non-aggressive appearance. Contrary to popular belief, it does not engulf and eat pearl divers. Number 11. Moray Eel Morays, like the monster from the Alien film, attack its prey with a concealed set of gnashers. The prey of the eel is caught inside the gullet by a pair of hidden pharyngeal jaws. Morays, unlike other predatory fish, draw food down their mouths in two steps. The object is initially grabbed and secured by the outer jaws. The pharyngeal set then leaps forward, bites the unlucky prey, and drags it down into the throat. The enormous moray, as its name indicates, is the biggest species. The largest reported individuals were roughly 8 feet long and 66 pounds despite unconfirmed stories of giant 10-footers hidden somewhere. These creatures have been seen in the Red Sea, off the coast of East Africa, and all throughout the Indo-Pacific. The wandering coral grouper, with which it shares the Red Sea, is a fast-moving predator that thrives in open water. On the other hand, opposites do occasionally attract. A moray will occasionally be invited out on a cooperative hunting excursion by a grouper. When a carnivore encounters an eel, it shakes its head quickly to get its new companion's attention. Smaller creatures have nowhere to hide while a moray wriggles across a rocky coral, and a grouper hovers overhead, and at least one predator feeds. Number 10. Stonefish with venom sacs in each of its spines that release poison when pressure is applied to the body, the stonefish is the world's most venomous fish. It's easy to miss since it looks like a stone or coral with pink flecks. 
and many people have been hurt by the stonefish's strong and frequently lethal sting because stomping on a stonefish by accident is a common and quite painful occurrence for Australian swimmers, many beaches have vinegar supplies on hand to minimize the venom's effect. Despite this, a stonefish may be easily prepared as food because the bulk of the fish is non-poisonous and edible once the poisonous spines are removed. It's been a long time favorite in Asia, and it can even be eaten raw as sashimi. Another distinguishing attribute of the stonefish is its ability to survive out of water for up to 24 hours, which is far longer than most other fish. So the next time you come across a strange looking rock in or out of the water, think twice before stepping on it. Stonefish venom contains both enzymes and non-enzymatic proteins. The mechanisms of action of stonefish venom is unknown. The venom of the reef stonefish differs from that of the estuarine stonefish. Use very hot water to relieve discomfort, but seek medical help if necessary. Number 9. Sarcastic Fringe Head the sarcastic fringe head should have been called the furious fringe head since these huge mouthed fish are among the most combative creatures in the ocean. You're strolling down the sea bottom in the front yard of a sarcastic fringe head's domain, minding your own business, when all of a sudden he's up in your face. These two will confront anybody, even one another in what looks to be one long, bizarre kiss. So maybe Chuck Norris of the Sea has a soft side as well? The kiss is really a means for males to show dominance, and whomever has the largest mouth wins. And they do have huge mouths, up to four times the size when open compared to when closed. The large males frighten off the little guys and get first pick of the females when it comes to mating in a world where the aggressive big mouth normally reigns supreme. Do any other creatures come to mind when you see them? They reside at a depth of around 230 feet in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of California. So you'll know who to blame the next time you go deep sea diving and end up with a black eye. Number 8. Piranha The red-bellied piranha is a well-known and feared fish all across the world. Early Amazonian expeditions claimed to have uncovered a small fish with razor-sharp teeth, as well as a shoal capable of stripping a cow down to the bone in minutes. The piranha is a scavenger, and this red-bellied fish also loves biting bits from the tails of much larger fish, which is rather gruesome. The piranha usually swims in a school of about 20 fish, each measuring about 12 inches in length and weighing around 4 pounds. Under the characteristic high brow, the powerful muscles that move the narrow jaw with the unusual overbite and razor-sharp triangular teeth may be seen. Because of their triangular design, they fit perfectly with the top set. Piranhas are able to give extremely powerful bites, as well as their well-known capacity to tear flesh as a result of this. In fact, this bite is one of the most powerful of any vertebrate in terms of body size. Human attacks are common, and warning signs have been put up in locations where piranhas have been spotted swimming. Although kids are particularly vulnerable, the majority of assaults result in minor to serious injuries, and deaths have occurred, including an 18-year-old male who was eaten by piranhas in Brazil in 2011. It's unclear if rumors of a red-bellied piranha's capacity to skeletonize a human or a cow's corpse in seconds are true or not. Regardless, they are a nightmarish species of fish. Number 7. Northern Stargazer this fish has a fascinating title that conjures up images of a philosophical fish contemplating metaphysics and the essence of the universe while admiring the sky at night. Actually, it looks like it was dropped on its head when it was an infant. There are many unattractive fish in the sea, but this one stands out. You should not, however, irritate it because it is a skilled hunter that can be found all over the world, particularly off the east coast of the United States. They're also venomous, which adds to the fear factor. Its most terrifying aspect, though, comes from its peculiar ambush tactics, which involve it partially burying itself in the sand so that all you 
can see before it strikes is a pair of terrifying eyes and a mouth glaring back at you. They wait until anything comes too close before springing out to capture its prey and disappearing behind the sand like a monster from a horror film. They live in the shallows and may be seen at Virginia Beach and Myrtle Beach, so keep a lookout the next time you're in the region for that little face in the sand. Number 6. Great White Shark Australian bathers, surfers, and fishermen may have been attacked by sharks more than 900 times since records began, resulting in more than 200 fatalities. Oz has some of the world's most deadly seas for sharks. The great white shark is the most feared shark of all, and for good reason, a full-grown adult weighs almost the same as two SUVs, has 300 razor-sharp teeth in seven rows, and is nearly half the length of a bus. That's a significant amount of shark. Arc. If you've watched the classic Hollywood film Jaws, you would believe that humans are a great white shark's favorite meal, but they actually love sea lion, seals, and small whales or dolphins. When great whites attack humans, it's typically not for the purpose of killing, rather it's to satisfy their curiosity. It's like getting a free taste of cheese from Walmart. When a great white takes a bite off a person, he may rip off an entire leg and normally doesn't require the use of a cocktail stick. In a stunning surprise assault, these incredible predators may conduct a breach in which they push themselves out of the water like a missile, eating up their startled victim as they go. These mega predators are now more endangered than we are, and they are so rare that they are classified as vulnerable to extinction. Even yet, if one swims by you when you're out in the Australian seas, you'd best hope it's not hungry. Number 5. Lamprey Next up is the marine lamprey, one of the most terrifying looking creatures on our list. These are vicious predators that have been accused of devastating ecosystems when they are introduced to areas where they are not normally present. Just ask the fish in Lake Superior. Well, you're not going to be able to do that. They've all been eaten by invading sea lampreys. Lampreys are parasitic, meaning they attach themselves to a fish and begin excavating a hole in its flesh. After they've done this, they'll start sucking out whatever's within. It has a disc-shaped mouth and a powerful tongue that it wields like a drill. They subsequently release an enzyme that stops the fish's blood from clotting. Some fish die as a result of the loss of blood and fluids, while larger fish, such as sharks, may die later as a result of the weakening and infections in the unsightly wound the parasite lamprey leaves behind. In the Great Lakes, lampreys aren't completely invasive. Native lampreys include the silver lamprey, American brook lamprey, and northern brook lamprey, although the sea lamprey is is a much bigger predator. The sense of smell of a sea lamprey is highly developed and it uses it to move and communicate. As a result, scientists have tried using pheromones and the stink of decomposing sea lampreys to help in capture attempts. Number 4. Kandiru among the various stories of strange, terrifying monsters that inhabit the Amazon River, the Kandiru fish stands out. Kandiru is a little catfish that is claimed to enter the intimate orifices of a person who urinates in the Amazonian rivers. The fish, according to legends, mistakes human urine for water expelled from the gills of other fish. The Kandiru swims up into the unlucky individual's genitals to their dismay. Because of the spines on its head, it is difficult to remove. Amputation of the genital organs is frequently the only option to preserve a person's life. Ouch. In reality, extensive research has demonstrated that the majority of this legend is most likely a fiction. To begin with, Kandiru sees fish gills rather than smells them. Due to fluid physics, it's also difficult for them to swim up a stream of urine. Piranha bites are also believed to have a result in amputation in specific areas. Finally, the sole current known instance of a Kandiru supposedly swimming into a man's urethra is thought to be a fabrication. Still, do you really want to give it a shot? Number 3. Goblin Shark 
If you've ever seen the classic science fiction horror film Alien, you'll know that the main alien, the Xenomorph, was designed by Swiss artist H.R. Geiger with one objective in mind, to scare the living daylights out of you. When the Xenomorph opens its mouth, another mouth creeps out to continue sucking the brains out of its victim, a feature that most people remember. The goblin shark may be found right here in our oceans, so you don't have to go to the farthest reaches of the cosmos to find one. These sharks are recognized for resembling the terrifying goblins of Japanese folklore. They live on the ocean floor and are most usually seen around Japan. They may reach a length of 12 feet and have a distinctive pink tint that adds to their appeal. They're quite rare, and we've only been able to study a few that have appeared in fishing nets on rare occasions, but its most distinguishing feature is that extendable mouth. They have extra long noses which make detecting prey easier but also give the small fish and mollusks that make up their diet that extra split second to flee before the shark's mouth reacts. Unless, of course, the goblin shark can thrust its jaws out of its mouth in truly terrifying fashion to trap its prey. At times, nature can be truly terrifying. Number 2. Frilled Shark this shark appears to have given up on evolution and is satisfied with its terrifying prehistoric features. It crawls like a snake through the water, waving its body until it comes across its preferred prey, squid, which it grabs up and swallows whole on a regular basis. It has crinkly brown skin and beady green eyes, giving it the impression of a living relic. Its rows of sharp teeth, needle-like teeth are ideal for slicing soft-bellied squid apart, but it will happily consume other fish and sharks if they approach too close. Finally, the shark's gills are frilled, giving it its name and giving it the look of a nobleman from the Renaissance. Frilled sharks may be found in both the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, especially in the Outer Continental Shelf and Upper Continental Slope waters, where they live on the ocean bottom in biologically rich areas of the ecosystem. To subsist on a diet of cephalopods, smaller sharks, and bony fish, the frilled shark migrates to the ocean surface at night to eat. The frilled shark glides like an eel when looking for food, bending and lunging with its long, flexible jaws, which are equipped with 300 recurved needle-like teeth to catch and swallow entire prey. Number 1. Red Lionfish the lionfish is a kind of scorpion fish that feeds on other scorpion fish. It is quite a sight to behold with its terrifying red, white, and black stripes all over its body, as well as an abundance of deadly poisonous needles emanating from it. The lionfish is a fearsome combatant and predator with a ravenous appetite for anything small enough to pass between its teeth. Although sharks and massive sea worms have been spotted attacking this fishy fleet, they have no natural predator. Lionfish populations are mostly under control in their natural habitat, the reefs, corals, and lagoons of the South Pacific and Indian Oceans. Hurricane Andrew made landfall on the Florida coast in 1992, inflicting damage and destroying an aquarium, among other things. Six lionfish were released into the Caribbean as a result of this, swiftly established themselves as one of the most dangerous invasive species, violently preying on unsuspecting local species, and growing growing to far larger sizes than previously documented. They've already spread throughout the western Atlantic, wreaking havoc, and conservationists are fighting to halt the unstoppable lionfish from expanding much further. Which is the scariest fish you've ever seen? Will you ever go into the ocean again? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!